We are here in Mechanic Legends. Apparently, this is a car game. You have to work on vehicles and all that. It's kind of like that one game I used to play back in the day where you have to like, actually take apart the vehicles. I don't know if it's exactly like that, but we are here in... Before we do play this game, you should got to subscribe, like, and let's get into building a car, shall we? <laughs> Wait, why'd I jump like that? Wait, hold up. I jump like I'm on the moon. Okay, let me get a car, though. We have to, like, find the car. So how do we do this? Oh, we also have codes. Let me take some codes in real quick. One second. Okay, the first code is Varjoy. Gives you $10,000. The next code is Updates. Gives you another ten grand. So it's, like, twenty k in total. Pretty sure that's it. I think this game's brand new. So how do we get our first car, exactly? Do we just, like, roam the junkyard and see what we can find? I see it? Oh, I see a vehicle right here. So maybe we go around and pick one of these vehicles that's rusty. Let's take a look at this one right here. This, like, sedan-looking car. 9,800. We could take this. Let's pop the hood first. Let's see what's going on in the hood. Does it not let us? Wait, I don't think it will let us do it, will it? Oh, I think we have to, like, purchase it first. Okay, we don't want this car. Let's take a look at the one over here real quick. There is another car, if you, as you can see in the distance, right here. Let's try to get this car right here. Okay, that's 15 grand. Okay, that's a little bit too much for my pocket right now. We only have 100. We only, literally only have, like, almost 200,000. This car's wheels are stuck in the ground. It's, they're asking for 18,000. I don't know if I want to purchase this exactly because the wheels are glitched in the ground. Thinking about maybe purchasing the 15 grand. Oh, we got another van right here. Whoa, this is actually not bad looking. How much are they asking? Oh, wait, it's not even... You can't even purchase this vehicle, dude. Really? It's just here for looks. Are you serious? Okay, this one's cheaper. They're asking for only five grand. Maybe this is gonna be our first purchase of the day. I'm actually gonna buy this car right here. Five grand purchase. Congrats, you have a new car. Amazing, you brought you bought your first car. Now let's head back towards the supply and fix this ugly car. It's not that ugly. It's just rusty. All it is is practically rusty. It's not anything too bad. I mean, something we can deal with. Yeah, wait, it is actually slow. Wait, this actually might be a little bit bad. This car is a very slow. We're going 18 like miles an hour. I don't even think it's 18. This car lacks of a radiator. It's going to heat up if you don't get one. How do I cover radiator? All right, let's take it back to the shop first, and we'll see if we can cop a radiator for the car. If your vehicle reaches 160 c it's going to blow up. Watch out. Whoa, we actually almost reached out. Let's slow down a little bit. We're to drive this very slow all the way back to our shop, so let's go ahead and do that now. Can this car even top 160? I'm on 106. I was going fast. I was topping like 109. Can we take this by any chance, or was this just here for decoration in the middle of the street? Okay, I'm pretty sure someone's trailer on... Oh, no! Someone's trailer locked up, but I actually got my car stuck in it. How does this happen? All right, I'm getting close to my place, I think. Uh, we just got unstuck from the trailer. Okay, yeah, I see my place right here. I just like always oh, saw so these emblems in the sky are basically where we need to go. Let me take my car to my place. We need to put a radiator because the car is going to overheat. Whoa, we got like actual fancy looking places. That guy's a Supra. Oh, he can't drive a Supra. Normal Supra driver. It's a garage. Let's go ahead and park it in. Oh, cars are coming. Let's go in. Oh, there is a car coming. It's going to crash, though. Oh, he drifted away. <laughs> this working on the engine is terrible. Open the hood of the car. Okay, can I just park it anywhere? We're going to open the hood. The engine looks nice, though. So, first thing first, grab your wrench tool and use it to take out the car engine. Parts and then place them in the repairing machine. Okay. And then we got to place them in the part repairing machine. Okay, we can't put it in there. Huh? Is there like an actual part repairing machine or am I tripping? Oh, wait, my engine's on the ground. Oh, wait. Maybe I should possibly move my engine to the machine. <laughs> All right, put the machine. We're gonna put the engine here. Place. Okay, let that get worked on. The bar health is on 60. Anything else we can do on the car that we need to take out? Oh, we need we, we need to move these two. Let's move this. Put it here. Stop it there. Take this back to the vehicle. Place it right back in. Okay. Let's take this out. Okay, we have a lot of parts to move, so maybe it would probably be ideal to move all the parts near the machine. The whole car near the machine, so we can actually like, bring it there faster. All right, it should be the last part. No, it is not. It is not the last part. All right, that is finished. Boom. Give me this part. Let's put this in there too. Place. Wait. Place. Okay. And then last part. Dang, we're on time actually. What is this? Every time I come back here, we're somehow managed to be on timing. You can't repair electronics, purchase you one in the engine shop. Is this one fine though? I think this one might be fine. Let's put this in there. I don't feel like we should actually repair that. Can we repair this though? Okay, the part health is at 100%. Never mind. We don't have to repair this. Put this back in the car. And place. And then let's shut the hood. Actually, physically lower the suspension, higher the suspension. Okay, let's not do that. Hold the hood. Close the hood. You can also fix the paint for money or more money, but you'll learn that by yourself. Can we move the car more in? Let's park it. Let's actually go park this. Oh, I didn't sit in the right seat. In the driver's seat. Car is running a bit better now. We still do not own what we needed to buy earlier. So let's go ahead and buy that now. We got it in park now. Easy. Okay, where can we actually buy stuff? Is this a 3D printer? I just not looked at what is it? What is this? Is this like a 3D printer? No, it, it does something. I don't know what that is. Tuning helps. Okay, the radiator helps cooling the engine when the temperatures go high. It costs twenty thousand dollars though. It is too much money to be honest, but twenty thousand to keep my 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 car cool when we go up to one hundred sixty is definitely 
uh, the money. Okay, we got a place in the car. I don't know how to color my vehicle. I really don't know how to color my vehicle. We did spend a, a hefty amount on this car, too. So is there a way we can color? It's tuning. It's a spawner. Oh, we have two cars. This car is only worth $5,000. Are you serious? We just spent $20,000 for a radiator. I don't even know why a radiator even costs $20,000. All right, let's go ahead and book it. Let's take this tour where we need to go our designated area. Maybe this is to where we can spray the car, maybe, because the car color is rusty. So we can get body work done on this car, hopefully. Let's go at the moment. So let's see if we can go do that real quick. We are so much faster, too. I think that was worth it. Look how fast we are. I, I think we arrived at this warehouse thingy. I don't know if this is for selling vehicles, spray painting vehicles, or what, but we're here. It took us a little bit to get here. I had to pause for a couple seconds. We are now here. Uh, car purchaser. Oh, so he's going to buy my vehicle. We spent 20 grand on the radiator, and we also just bought the car for 5000 Where's the car going? Don't destroy it by the time we sell this car, dude. Why does he look homeless? Sell your car to Roberto to earn money. You'll get up to $49,199. So we bought it for $5,000. We also also added a radiator which in total gave us so we have five thousand quick math because i can't quick math in my head we spent what twenty thousand on radiator so twenty five thousand all together for the car but we earned a lot more off of it we have forty nine thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars so i'm gonna take that as a w purchase boom we have two hundred thousand dollars you just learned the basics there's a lot of to explore ready to for the adventure i am ready let's go back to a garage one of our vehicles back out uh wait we have to actually go spawn it at in our garage first oopsie daisy spawn car beginner's car spawn there's a rat in my dumpster blocking my car spawn how do i move this i wish i got steal people's vehicles is there a way i can like move them from my property because he's he's move he's blocking my area move jeez okay i loaded back in i had to switch service somebody was trolling me and they put their car in my spawn area where i normally are supposed to spawn my car in at so i had to switch servers and now we need to go pick up a brand new car so let's go do that now and get a hopefully get a new car but wait why can i not go in the driver's seat go in the driver's seat dingleberry that was a little weird we have to go first person but someone's name is actually subaru so we all know what car he likes all right let's find the junkyard where are we going um purchase destroyed vehicles to repair them let's go that way oh my god this car almost swerves it's so small the turning for this car is so bad I almost flipped off the road it literally was like the wind was about to pick the car up and just fly away like it's a tornado but let's go ahead and go on to the car pick up the car we need a perfect one i want something more expensive this time we have two hundred thousand dollars so hopefully we can work with something something a little bit more expensive than what we bought originally i can literally see the junkyard we're finally here dude i can see it a little bit off to the distance i forgot how you actually enter i'm assuming it's right here uh i don't know where the front gate is so do we okay never mind i see right here so we have to like walk in there all right let's go ahead and go in drive in let's drive around to find a nice perfect looking vehicle we want something a little bit more expensive than what we had originally like i said it's five thousand dollars they're like this little truck looking car here how much are they asking for 5,000. Mm, we could a little bit more expensive than that. Could purchase it though. Low key, we could, but I don't want to. We need something crazy. See cheese in his vehicle over there. Um, this one looks like the car we just had, but not really. It's a little bit different. How much are you asking for? 15 grand. Okay, we need to look back in that car when we get, get look into that car when we get back. That's something I'm actually interested in buying. See car over here too. Okay, this one looks a little bit expensive. Also, 5,000. Okay, let's go ahead and get the 15 grand one. I don't know how this one's a little bit cheaper than the other one. This looks better. We are. Let's go ahead and purchase 15,000. Congrats, you have a new car. Is there anything wrong with this that we need to know about? Let's check the let's check the actual health of the car, the engine. 50%. Okay. Okay, this is kind of bad not too bad you can see the parts coming out of the front of the hood i don't know what's going on there like the parts are literally sticking out of the car oh yeah this thing is slow let's pinpoint going to um customize your car tuning shop let's go to all right let's go to tuning wait yeah let's go to tuning shop and then and then see if we can tune this bad boy up this is literally terrible i don't know what the speed limit on this thing is and this might actually probably overheat and blow up so let's hope not <laughs> Engine is missing. Missing engine block. How am I missing an engine to my car? Wait, explain. All right, so we already have some technical difficulties. Engine, mini corp, enterprise. All right, let's buy an engine, man. Don't know how we ended up losing an engine. Let's do a V8. $35,000. $35,000 for an engine, man. I better get some hunk of change for this car because that is expensive. And by the looks of it, it's going to look like we're going to need... um. Okay, this is so bad. So apparently my car broke down. We don't have an engine. Okay, now the engine wants to drop. Are you serious? 15,000 in the spawn, bro. This is so bad. Okay, no, it costs 15,000. Dude, what is going on? Okay. Oh, so you wait. You click. Oh. Okay, open the hood. So you told me I can't. You told me I can't place this to that. Oh, this is horrible. I just purchased an engine I can't place, place in. I need an eye for it. Oh my goodness, this is bad. Oh my goodness gracious, this is bad. So what we got to do is... Report to the shop. Oh, dude, what is this game, dude? 
I need an i4 engine, not a freaking V8. I don't know why I even thought about buying a V8 for the car. This is a bad start so far. Hey, Mr. Moai, I need an i4. Okay, let's get... We need a block. Engine block, $9,000. Okay, thank you so much, man. God bless you. I might see you again here in a little bit. I don't know. Back to the garage. For a second, I thought I found a duplication glitch because I don't know why. I repaired that. Put the battery back in the car. We need to purchase... Two we spend so much money. How do we go from 200000 to 160000 This is so bad. Let's grab the last block. Just back in the car. And we need... I know what we need. We need to head back to the... Yeah, we need to be careful. Okay, the engine's 92%. It's not bad. We're looking good. Let's take this car. Let's get a paint job on it. Let's fix the car paint. Change the color. Let's go do that first. Hopefully, this makes a big change in money we make. Not. Nah, it's fine. There's cheese right there going by us. Go ahead and head to the paint shop. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong by the time we get there because we don't want cars. If the car reaches 260C, it's going to blow up. Watch out. Why? We need a new radiator? How far is that? Let's go to the car parts shop. Yeah, it looks nearby. We could probably go... Wait, where is this one at first? Let's paint the car first before we do anything. Yeah, wait. No, I lied. Yep, because it's pretty much just right here. So the shop's right here. It looks like a donut shop. I don't know why. Because the tire, I guess, on top of it looks like a donut. Park it in the front. Let's grab us a... Let's see here. What you got? What you got? What you got? I need to buy something for me, Mr. Roblox. Outfits. I just bought something. Uh, We are looking for an I-4. But we need battery, electronics, oil catcher, engine head, cylinders head, engine block. Oh, so it's an engine part. Okay, wait. Let's go ahead and take our car to get a new paint job on them. And then we'll sell, sell it to Roberto. Oh, I'm selling new wheels too. How much is your wheels, buddy? Oh my, oh no. Nah. One race wheel is $86,000. Yeah, I'm good, buddy. I don't know where you got that price at, but your boy's not spending $80,000 on a singular wheel. There's no way. You're not catching me to do that. Ain't no way. All right, we, do, we gotta make sure we don't reach 160. Get, keep it cool. See the place right there. Okay, let's go ahead and turn. I'm not even at 160 notification. I'm at 90. I don't see us making our money back. This is terrible. Okay, let's take this right here in the green. I don't know what this is, but let's take it here. Oh, wait, I think we have to bring it inside. Wait, what's this for then? Bring it all in the shop. Can we get rid of the oil? Like, is the rust gonna be able to come off the car? Like, what's going on here? This is like a GT shop. Okay, paint fixer. Paint's fixed. Let's apply, like, I don't know what. It's gonna look good. Ooh, that looks perfect. Wait, hold on. Right there. Easy. 13 thousand dollars jesus christ ah dude yeah we're going broke with this one it don't look bad though. i mean it looks brand new it looks like we just got like a whole brand new car from a dealership i like this i like the little red stripe on the front too now it's time to sell the car to roberto my man needs all the cars he can get so he can start his dealership all right do we need to buy a radiator dude how about we just skip radiator and just not get a radiator i feel like that's what we should do we should just not get a radiator at this point we'll make it there but we just don't want to purchase another radiator we've spent too much money already as is so i mean there's no point of buying anything else. Hello, Mr. Roberto. I'm back with another car. This time, this one's not rusty. How much will you give me for this? He'll give me $43,000. Spent so much money on this car, bro, and you're offering me only $43,000. How much am I getting for this? We lost a couple thousands. You know what? It's fine. No big deal. Next time, we're not going to do all those stupid steps. Now we know what to buy next time. So, I mean, Roberto, you kind of scammed me, but I'm going to let that one slide.